Power Match Power Amplifiers deliver concert quality sound for a wide variety of fixed installation sound reinforcement systems and provide class-leading efficiency sound quality and reliability. This video assists with amplifier configuration and delivers detailed configuration information. A separate video will be uploaded for the Control Space Designer software, and it will provide detailed instructions on how to use Control Space Designer software to fully configure, monitor, and update power match amplifiers. For network version amplifiers, Designer software provides additional network setup, control, and monitoring capabilities. Without any ado, let's start the video. Let's start the control space of Designer software by clicking on its icon from the desktop. Before you start the application, make sure that the device is energized and it is connected in the same network with your computer. Once the software starts running, click on the search icon from the main menu to identify the device in the network. Upon clicking on the search icon, a pop-up window will open and software starts searching the device. There is an error, that is scan device is not found. No device detected, check network settings, and connection. And the scan the network again. Close this window and change the IP address of your computer according to the device. You will find the device default IP address, once you power on the device it will be displayed on screen. As you can see here on my screen now. Let me change the IP address of my computer to 192.168.0.254. Once we make both devices on the same network, then again click on search. As you can see, I have found one device on the network, that is PM8500N power match amplifier, but we have some errors. Communication with the PM8500N cannot be established because its firmware is not up to date. As of now close this window, in the next video we will see how to update the firmware for power match amplifier. To change the IP address of the physical device, right click on the device, then go to properties. PM8500N power match properties wizard will open. Click on the hardware manager. Upon clicking the hardware manager, the window will open. Select the device from the list. Then change network connection DHCP to static IP. Then you will see the current IP address of the device. After changing the network connection, Click on Update to make the changes on the device. Hardware Manager Reboot. Change will affect after rebooting. Is it OK to reboot device? Click on OK to continue. Once the device is rebooted, search the device in the network and then go to Properties. Then select the device from the list. This time change the IP address of the project. To do that, click on Change. Change the IP address of the project, according to your requirements. Then click on OK. Once you click on OK, a pop-up window will open, and you will see a message that data connection failed. Click on OK to continue. Once you click on OK, you will see some changes in the Hardware Manager window such as the device status changed as out of the project and you will see a batch update window will appear there you will have the device shown which is connected to the network but out of the project ip address range to make them on the same network now we need to change the ip address of the device once you change the ip address of the device from the batch window Click on the update to change the IP address on the hardware. Once you click on update, you will have a pop-up message on the screen as The batch updates are now complete, reboot device now. Click on OK to make the changes on device. Meanwhile let me bring the device also on screen, so we can see the changes as live. Let's see if the amplifier will restart, and the IP address will change. 
Now the IP address is 192.168.0.80. It's restarting now. After restarting, the IP address is changed to 192.168.100.81, which we have changed earlier in this video. Let's go back to the software and search for the device in the network, with a new IP address. Before that make sure you have changed your computer IP address to the same range on the IP. Let me change my computer IP address. Once we change the computer IP address, click on the search button to find the new IP address device in the network. As you can see on the screen, I have a new device selected in the software. Let's see the IP address of the detected device. It is 192.168.100.81, so we configure the IP address successfully. I hope you understand how to configure the IP address of the power match amplifier, in an easy way. If you want to have any technical support you can connect us by the given details. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.